Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to have baseball swag off field, at practice, and on field. So right now I'm going to show you off field swag. I got just regular clothes on, but I'm going to upgrade to some swag. I got no swag right now. So you want to start, you want to wear a baseball shirt. I got Lingon Roll Lancers baseball. Works good. And for starters, you want to roll your shorts up to a little bit over knee level. And then you want to tuck in your shirt in the front of your shorts, but leave the back untucked. That gives you a little bit of swag right there. And then, if you have one, get yourself a chain. Keep it popped at all times. Unless you're walking up to the plate, then pop it when you're coming off the plate. But that's, that's for later. And then you get yourself either a PG hat, sunglasses on the back of the hat, of course, you're not gonna use them, but look swaggy. Or you, if you play on a stud travel team, like the Mid-Atlantic Red Sox, Tri-State Arsenal, Eva Shield Canes, you can wear this off field, but you can't if you have a bad travel team. So we're just gonna go with the PG hat right now. So you wanna have some D1 tilt, of course. Now, let me, let me show you what tilt is. So if you have tilt like this, you suck. You play rec, you're bad. You just, you're not, you're not a good baseball player. And then if you just have, you wear your hat regular, then you just play travel baseball. You don't take it too serious, but I mean, you're a decent player. And then if you go like this, Put the hat in front of your face and have it barely on your head. That's D1 tilt. D1 tilt's for players that either are committed to a D1 in college, and, or you are good enough. You're a really good player. You throw gas. You're probably almost good enough to D, commit D1. So you got to have some tilt if you're like that, and you got to be a high school kid. And then when you get to college, you get back to travel ball because. It doesn't really matter. You're already at the D1 level. Doesn't matter. But then when you're about to get drafted, you're prepping for the draft. You got to have some insane tilt. Tilt that you can't even see pretty much. Like out of control tilt. So that's that's off field tilt. Now let's go to practice tilt. So with your apparel, you have two options here. You can either go with the show you with the cutoff like this but this is only if you're ripped or hit bombs so if you're a skinny pitcher like me no cutoff or you could go with a simple shirt like this but there's a way to wear this shirt and this this is mainly for pitchers or skinny kids but you gotta have three quarters you can't you can't pull it up all the way here that doesn't look good you gotta have three quarters automatic swag if you got three quarters and then of course you could wear your team's hat to the practice always tilt of course or if you want to stand out and you want to really look like a stud, you got to go with the PG hat as well because your whole team is going to be wearing the team hat. But if you're wearing the PG hat, I mean, you're an automatic stud. So if you wear, if you're going to practice and you wear shorts to practice and everybody else is wearing pants and your coach doesn't really care, then that. I mean, I give you automatic respect for that. That, that is swag. That's showing that you're big time, and that you're better than everybody else out there. But you know, sometimes the coach isn't gonna let that happen. Everybody's gotta wear pants, so you gotta wear the baseball pants. Now, you put these on for practice, and you. Zip this up, but you're not really going to take practice seriously, we know this. So you're not going to wear a belt, and you're only going to button one button. 
So leave this open. So you got, you don't want to pull your pants up too high, but you got the D1 tilt, five glasses on the back, of course. You got the chain if you got it, you always wear the chain. And then you got the three quarter sleeves, and I mean, you got no belt and one button open pants. Now, you're not, pr you're not taking practice too seriously if you're big time. So you don't ever want to wear stirrups or pants up or anything like that if you're, if you're going to practice. Now, we're going to talk about the game swag. So you got to, of course, get your jersey and get your team hat because you got to wear the team hat. You can't wear the PG at this that, that would just be disrespectful. Why you you got to wear your head. So, let's go ahead and get my jersey on. This, this is and this is you, of course, give a, you want to button this all the way up, give a tuck at the front, still keeping the back out. It's, that's a little bit of swag. And then, you want to wear your belt, show some respect, so put on the belt, and you want to wear shorts under your pants, because that's, I mean, that's really big time when you're, you know, walking up to the field, you got shorts on, and then you slip on the pants, and then right when the game is over, you immediately take the pants off in the dugout, you know, it goes cleats off, then pants off. So you immediate comfort after the game. But let's go. We got the Red Sox hat matching, of course, D1 till all the time. Sunglasses on the back of the hat, upside down. And then if, oh. and then let's start from the bottom. So cleats, you want to wear the New Balance. New Balance is the swaggiest baseball brand, of course. And you want to, you can, you can either get New Balance metal or you can do rubber. It doesn't really matter. They look swaggy. It's, it's cleats aren't what they, how they feel. It's how they look. So you go with that. And then if you have the pants and you have the stirrups for it, you can pull up, you can pull them up. I don't have stirrups, but you can tuck them in the stirrups. But at no point do you let your pants fall over and fall down, start falling down. Because that is immediate, just trash. You never want to do that. So, stirrups if you can, but if you don't got them or your pants are going to suck, just go pants down, it's fine. And then you got your belt. Shirt tucked in half halfway, not in the back. Keep that. You you don't want to look too try hard out there. And then you don't want to have your you don't want to look too official out there. So have your jersey just kind of eh, laid down, kind of. And then you want to have the chain, of course, always the chain. And then you want to get the eye black. But there's ways to do the eye black. Never just stripe like that no unacceptable no stripe if you want to do the triangles that's acceptable i guess if you're younger i wouldn't recommend it if you're older high school level i just don't i don't really know about that no no diamonds no designs but the real way to look like a stud with the eye black is the bryce harper warrior two lines coming down your face that is immediate stud, and just, you look like a beast up there. And if you're old enough and you can, I can't. But if you can grow a little goatee, a little scruff coming down, and that's, that's even better. But no mustache, no mustache. And then, you don't want to wear the sunglasses, because it looks better on your head than on your face. But I guess if you need to, really sunny day out there, you can put the sunglasses on. And then... You got your D1 tilt, of course. And then if you have the hair that, that comes out like Dansby Swanson, that that looks really nice coming out of the hat. But, you know, not everybody's got that hair. So if you can do that, 
that would be nice. But let's show you how you're walking up to the field. So if you are a pitcher, start with that. Every pitcher should have bands. So you put them around your neck. And then you walk up with your bag. The bags need to be backpacks. So you're not pulling it. You're not wearing it over one thing like a rec player. You got to have the backpack bags. So you're walking up like this, a little swag. You probably got your slides on. And you get to the field. You put your cleats on. You slip your pants on. You know, you're looking like a stud. Now for regular players, you want to... And, some, and pitchers can do this too. You want to walk up like this. It's just glove in hand. Got to grab it right here. And you want to let everybody know that you got a nice A2000 glove or a Rawlings or an A2K. If you got a trash glove, put it away. And then for your backup gloves or something, let's just say these are my backup gloves. You want to put them on the bat. So, you don't really want to put much in your bag. Like, you got to show off your gear. You got to look like a stud out there. You want to show everything you got. So, the reason for this is you got to have four bats in your bag, of course. You got the backup wood bat. You got the backup BB core bat. You're putting those away. But your, your gamers and, and your real bats... If it's a nice bat, you want to show it off. So I leave it out so everybody can see. Victus, got my name on it. Nice glaze. It just looks really nice. So I want everybody to see that. And then I got the best looking and best BB core bat on the planet. Meta. I'm showing that off. You better believe. Sometimes you can even walk up. With bat like this on your field on the field whatever you want to do you do it but you show off this bat if you got it now let's talk about walking up to the mound to pitch I got my pitching glove here don't want to wear it while you're walking out out to the mound so you want to walk like this as slow as possible no running to the mound, no running off the field. Always walk if you're a pitcher. So give it a, and then right when you get right up onto the mound, like you're a couple feet away, you give it a little jog. And that's just to show your coach. Oh, you don't spray. You jogged at the last spray. second. You know, but you don't want to look too try hard when you're walking up and the fans are watching you. So when you get on the mound, you're warming up. First pitch, just chuck way over the catcher's head. You just throw as hard as you can. Just an awful pitch. But you want to show everybody that you throw gas. So don't just throw strikes. Just chuck it over the catcher's head every time at the batter's face. And then when you get in, you start doing your thing pitching. But... So that's, that's the pitching. Now hitting, you wanna come up, gotta have batting gloves, gotta have Evo Shield batting gloves. You gotta have the arm thing, you gotta have the foot guard, and come up with the chain in your shirt. And then when you walk up to the plate, take the chain out. And then you wanna you know do your thing, tap the plate, you know point at the pitcher with your bat, Give some bat movement. I mean, you, you got to look ready to hit. Open stance is preferred. Spit. Now, there's a way to spit. Between your teeth, make the noise, too. You can't spit any other way. And you just want to look like you're about ready to go yard. Really wiggle the bat. Big leg kick. All that. You know, you want to really look like a stud when you're walking up. And when you get into the box and dig out before you get in there, I mean, just 
look look as stubbly as you can. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing. When you're walking, when you're jogging out to your position, say I play shortstop. You want to have the finger out, two fingers and pinky, and you want to barely jog out to your position. Don't run, don't walk, but barely jog. And then when you're fielding, warming up, you don't want to look like you're trying hard, but you want to still show good fundamentals. Get to the right of the ball, you know, feel it, look it in, and make a good solid throw. You don't want to lollipop, but you don't want to chuck it to him. Just have it on the line. And then when you're out there in the field, you know, look around, mess around, have sunflower seeds, possibly gum, blowing bubbles, and spit between your teeth. And that's that's how you do it. I mean, this this is the this is everything you need to know about looking like a stud, being a stud out there. You know, if you do what I tell you to, then even if you suck, you're gonna look like a stud. So that's all I gotta say. See. You.